Hey guys, it is Haifa from Fufu's Kitchen. I am back with a new video today. I'm gonna be showing you how to make one of my summer favorites. It's a burgol salad. Burgol, also known as bulgur, is cracked wheat. It is a grain that is super delicious, very versatile, and today we're going to be using it in a salad. So come check the ingredients to make this delicious dish. All right, so you are going to need some burgol, which is the star of the dish. This is cracked wheat, and this is the coarse kind, not the same that you would use in tabbouleh. This one is bigger. You are going to need some water. I have three cups of water here. You're going to need one bouillon cube or bouillon powder, whatever you have. You're going to need about two tablespoons of tomato paste, because I have one and a half cups of burgol, by the way. And then you're, go, you're also going to want some curry powder if you have it. If you don't, completely fine. You could just omit this ingredient, but my mom always added it, so I like to add it. And then we're going to chop up some vegetables, which I'll show you later. But first, let's get started on this burgor, because it's going to take about 10-15 minutes to cook. And then we'll chop up these yummy veggies. All right, so in my... On my stove, I have a pot over here. And what I'm going to do is add three cups of water. You could even use vegetable stock. This, di this dish is vegetarian. It's even vegan friendly. And we're also going to add one and a half cups of bulgur to that. Just gonna stir it up a little bit. I want it to start boiling, that's why I raised it up higher, the heat. And then I'm going to add my bouillon cube in here. This is going to give it some umami, lots of flavor. You could use the powder, whatever you have. And then we're also going to add the tomato paste at this point. Because we want all the flavors to kind of cook together. I'm going to add the curry powder, which I said is optional, totally up to you. If you want, you could add even some turmeric in there for a little color if you don't have the curry powder. But the tomato paste and that curry is going to give this a very nice bright orange color. So I'm just going to mix this all together. We will add some salt later if you feel like it needs it. The bouillon cube does have salt in there, so you don't want to over salt. So I am just mixing everything together. You can see that it's actually turning red from the tomato paste. And we want this to come to a boil. And then we will bring it down to a simmer. And it'll probably need around 15 minutes or even less to cook. So. All right, I think all the tomato paste pieces are pretty much in there now. Okay, let this come to a boil and we could start chopping up our ingredients. Let me show you what we have here. So for the salad itself, I am going to use some cucumber, some bell pepper, some red onion, some tomatoes, and then some cilantro. You can use parsley instead of cilantro, or you could even use both. Um, you can use green onion instead of red onion. I don't recommend yellow onion, but definitely you could use green onion scallions instead of red onion. Bell pepper, I definitely recommend red, yellow, or orange. They're more sweeter than the green ones. And then cucumber, you could use the seedless. This is seedless, actually this has uh, seeds sorry but you could even use the persian cucumbers which i love and then tomatoes i'm using these beautiful in season cherry tomatoes aren't they so nice they're multicolor, so it's going to give a lot of dimension in the salad um, but you could use your basic tomato and chop it up completely fine and then for the dressing we are going to be using some pomegranate molasses this is going to give it a nice tangy sweetness 
to the dressing to the salad and then you're also going to need some extra virgin olive oil like most dressings along with some garlic salt pepper and some fresh lemon juice now i hear this rumbling over here and you can see that it's coming to a boil so i'm just going to bring it down a little bit you can cover this or honestly you could leave it uncovered i've done it both ways and it's turned out completely fine so we're just going to leave it on some medium heat and let it cook and here we're going to chop some veggies so i'm going to talk to you guys as i chop my vegetables today i'm going to be doing the tomatoes first and i have this beautiful bowl that my parents got from palestine it is hand painted and isn't it so pretty i cannot wait to add the salad to this bowl okay so i have my cherry tomatoes here make sure you have a sharp knife it'll make your life so much easier i'm just going to half these cherry tomatoes just like so like i said if you want you could use a regular sized tomato beefsteak roma whatever you have i'm actually growing some cherry tomatoes in my garden this year and i see them they are coming through probably next month i'll be enjoying some tomatoes from the garden so for now i have these and all these different colors are going to look really pretty in this salad and i'm just gonna add all my ingredients into this bowl make it easy i'm also gonna chop up some cucumber And it can be just a rough chop. It doesn't have to be super small or super big. Just a rough chop, chop like this will do the trick. You wanna be able to taste each ingredient. You don't want it to get lost in the salad. So just a quick chop. So this is actually one of my favorite summer salads. I think I've made it few times right now as of the last month probably like five times and I especially love it with barbecue it is so good with barbecue and I'm actually barbecuing today some kebabs chicken and lamb and I know this is going to be a hearty delicious refreshing salad right next to it okay so now we're going to do the bell pepper I'm just gonna lower this a little bit okay so now we're doing the bell pepper so I already cleaned it up a little bit and the reason why i like using orange yellow or red is because it is sweeter than green green bell peppers are a little bit more bitter um if you didn't know bell peppers actually start off green and then become yellow and then orange and then red so it really depends on their maturity and the more mature it is the sweeter it is so that's your uh, fun fact for the day <laughs> okay so you can see here i am just Chopping away, nothing fancy. You can see how a sharp knife really helps. My husband actually just sharpened these knives for me over the weekend. And oh my god, it's like I got a new set. Okay, onions. I want to show you a cool way to chop onions. So you want to take off this outer layer. And you want to keep, you want to keep this root, the stem. And this is what you're going to do. So you're gonna chop off the other side, which I already did. And then you're just going to go and with your knife, 
you're not gonna cut all the way but you're just going to be by the stem right there you can see I'm not going all the way through and just keep going around okay there you go so it's all here now it's so much easier to just chop these because it's still holding on to this so it just makes it so much easier look that's it so hopefully that tip is going to help you when you're cutting onions i hate cutting onions but this one didn't make me cry so it's okay and now I have some cilantro. Okay, and if you noticed, I have the leaf, uh, the stem still attached to the cilantro, and that's because it's what actually adds a lot of flavor to cilantro, and a lot of the nutrients are in here as well. So totally keep it. Okay. I just kind of piled it all together really tightly. It'll be easier to kind of chop up. so pretty so this is all done now let's go back to the borbol let's see what's going on over here you could see that it's soaking up some of that liquid you could definitely see that that it's cooking i'm just going to stir it, it smells so good So there's still a little liquid in there. You can see it's still a little bit wet. So let it continue cooking for probably another five minutes or so until all the liquid goes away. All right, there we go. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is work on our dressing. And like I said, we're gonna use some pomegranate molasses some olive oil, and then some garlic, salt, pepper, and fresh lemon juice. So I have two garlic cloves here that I crushed with my mortar and pestle earlier. And here I have my pomegranate molasses, and I'm gonna add about one tablespoon, or maybe one and a half, or two. I really like pomegranate molasses. And then we're gonna do about three tablespoons of olive oil. I kind of just eye it at this point. And then we're gonna do one whole fresh lemon juice. And I like squeezing my lemon like this because the seeds could get caught in your fingers rather than put them in the salad. So. I think I spoke too early. I see I'm starting to tear up <laughs> from the onions. <laughs> okay. And I prefer lemon instead of lime, but if all you had was limes, you could definitely use that instead. all right and now we're gonna add some salt I'm using some pink Himalayan salt a little pepper I know a lot of people don't add pepper to their salads but I like the flavor of it I'm just gonna give this a quick stir We're gonna add that burgul to this as soon as it's ready. And I've been eyeing it and it's almost there. You can already see how beautiful this looks. It smells really good. And it's so easy. 
to make. Okay. If you had some dried mint, I totally put that in here as well, or even fresh mint. You could chop it up with that cilantro. It'd go really well. All right, guys, this is ready. Now we just need that star. We need that bulbul to be ready. Let's check on it. Okay, so it is getting there. You can see that it is soaking up that water and it is drying out, which is what we want. And I actually prefer this over rice. I really, really like this, especially like I said, with barbecues or in the summertime, my mom would always make borgol. She said, guys, should I make rice or should I make borgol? Borgol, always. Okay, I like to just test it out, see if it's soft, which it is. All right, so I'm just gonna give that a minute and it should be done. And it's on medium heat. And you can see it takes no time to cook. It literally takes about 10, 15 minutes, a little less than rice. Rice takes maybe around 20. Um, so this is definitely more of a time saver than rice, I would say, and it's easier to flavor as well. And it has a nicer texture, in my opinion. Okay, so this is all ready. That's about to be ready. And we will taste the salt and everything at the end to see if you need to add a little bit more. But for now, this looks beautiful. And honestly, you could just enjoy this salad as is and it will be delicious. But let's add the burgo to this now. Okay, so I'm actually going to, and don't worry about the burgo being hot and adding it to the salad. It's not gonna like wilt anything because you're going to put this straight in the fridge after. I'm just putting a majority of it right now, just to show you guys. And like I said, look at that beautiful orange color. Oh my God, smells so good. And then I like to always have extra because this is great for meal prep. You could keep it in the fridge all week long and enjoy it whenever. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this burgul salad. Vegetarian, vegan friendly, absolutely delicious. Hope you give it a try.